What's good with the YouTube? It is your boy Vaughn, and as you guys can see by the title, we are back with a new reaction video for you guys today. And in this one, we're gonna be reacting to Darmin. Mom finds out her teenager is inside a gang. What happens next is shocking. Okay, interesting. I wonder what the gangs are like nowadays compared to when I was growing up as a kid. But hey, we finna find out in today's video. The original video will always be in the description down below while you guys are down there. If you guys could please follow me on my TikTok, I will be doing Call of Duty videos and content over there. So if you guys would like to see my gaming content, that is the place to be. TikTok, first link in the description down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on. That way you guys do not miss any of the uploads. And I appreciate you guys for the continued support. But without further ado, man, we're gonna go ahead and run a dive right into this let's get it he breathing heavy so he must have just committed a crime or something that's how we starting off he ain't jumping off the bridge ain't no way he too young to be going through this he must have a bounty on his head let me find out This is starting off intense. Hold up. He getting a phone call. This phone call could either make him or break him. Let's see. Mom Dukes? Is it Mom Dukes? Yep, I knew it. I knew it. Answer that call, boy. Mama will never steer you in the wrong direction. Just seeing her call probably like gave him, yeah. See, yeah, just sometimes just seeing something, seeing a sign can make you stop a decision that you're about to make. It was good that he seen that. Okay, so we got some essays and my walking boy, up. She got a death wish? What's that you claiming? I ain't never seen that hard before. Man, he claiming nothing. Look at him. Looks like a scrying little school kid. Hey, man, this is D.O. territory. You just tagged up my wall. So now we got a little problem. Hey, what the heck's going on here? You have any idea how much this costs to clean up? Oh, so you don't care, huh? <laughs> he didn't even give him a chance to respond. No, he, you know how to carry me. Call the police. Oh my gosh. Teenagers like you is what's wrong with society today. Oh, yeah. Oh, you look crazy, huh? Can you hear me? But you don't got no fear, though. Good. You know, you don't really do much talking. Respect that. You know, uh, Dio is looking for new recruits. All Dio members take care of each other. We're like family. <laughs> we never leave. Thanks. But I can take care of myself. But can His voice just totally totally caught me off guard you take care of yourself like this mm -hmm. there's a lot more where this comes from just just think about it i mean do we all over the place so if you need to find me ghostface at least they ain't doing nothing to him true that's a positive you better answer the phone this time it's got to be mom dukes again yup Answer the phone. Not the fingernails being painted black, too. Bro, emo? Something? A rock star? Let me find out. So he's going to come into mom. Where look, have you been, Kent? Look, let me tell you. Boy, if that was me growing up back in the day, not answering one mama phone calls and I'm coming in the house, I ain't walking. I ain't just walking in the door, first of all. It's going to be locked. My parents going to have to come see me on the porch, and I'm going to have to explain what happened. And I'm I've been pretty calling you. much gonna get my ass whooped before I even can enter the house. Like, you know what I mean? You out here vandalizing? Don't Ken? worry about it. I am gonna worry about mm. it. I'm your mother. What's going on with you? Ever since everything happened with I, can you just get off my back? You see these bills, Kent? They're not gonna pay themselves. 
It's up to me now to, to keep you safe and keep the lights on. Instead of getting a job and helping me, you're, you're causing me more stress. We got a job, remember? I start tomorrow. Oh, wait, you, you probably never heard me because all you ever do is complain and nag me. That's not fair. Mm. That was rude. Look, lady, I'm not in the mood, okay? Hi, um, your employee literally just threw my coffee at me and gave me attitude. <laughs> <She's>... <laughs> Them Karens, boy, he threw the coffee at her. That's what he did, y'all. He threw it at her. I'm so sorry. Exactly what I was going to ask you about. What are you doing? Didn't you read the employee handbook? We split tips here with other stuff. Four dollars? What am I gonna do with this? Look, you're lucky you're not getting fired, okay? That customer over there just complained about your attitude. And honestly, I can see why. You know, you don't, you don't like my attitude? I don't like this job, all right? I quit. Standing on business. Bro, Blackheart? That's, that's the nickname I gave you, you know, because you're just so cold, brother. I've got to make some real money to help my mom out with rent. What I got to do? Okay, well, slow down, Blackheart, okay? We don't just allow anybody to become D.O. You got to prove yourself. You know, make sure you're loyal. Ready to do what it takes? What's it take? <laughs> So you earned your first chain when we saw you tagging up that wall the other day. To gain your second, I want you to rob the first person that comes out that door. Got it? Hey, he's trying to do whatever it takes for my dukes. Okay. What you gonna do? Just take I would just take the suitcases and run. That's it. No! Oh my gosh! No! No! No, please! No, please! I really need this stuff! Please don't do this! Please! No! 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> he act like he was finna rock off on this. <laughs> Poor lady. Poor lady. And he was on camera too. He was on camera. I hope you ain't I hope they ain't see him. So Where got, have you been, Ken? You got chain number two. Not this again. Yes, this again. And you're gonna want to tell me the truth. That's you. Damn, yeah. that was quick. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't you play with me, boy. That hoodie is custom made. There's no one else wearing it but you. Are you in a gang? What? No, 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 come on, mom. I can't do this. I won't. That's why I'm calling the police. Wait, 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 don't. It's either this or you go to therapy. One or the other. What's it gonna be, Ken? Okay, we have about five minutes left. I'd like us to try an exercise. You up for it? I mean, do I have a choice? Ken, do you really want to do this? Just throw away your life and give up your future? Close your eyes. Kent. Thank you. Now, I wonder what this I'd exercise like you to is. Visualize the last time that you saw your father. Mm, that must have hit home. 
I don't, I don't want to. Just give this a chance, please. What are you doing? Whoa, 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 hey! I don't wanna do this. Okay, okay, that's fine. We don't have to talk about your dad anymore. Just, just sit down, please. Dad just left up out of his room, got a better situation. Your mother offered you to come Damn. see me instead of calling the cops. Let's try a different approach. Let's not talk about your pain. Let's talk about the pain that you've caused others. <coughs> There's a phrase, hurt people, hurt people. Ring a bell? Maybe you don't care about how your actions affect your life, but have you ever thought about how those same actions affect your mom? Or even the victims? A little empathy can go a long way. He yeah, has a good point. Just a little. How did it go? Cheers. I'll figure something out. Don't worry. Uh, how, how am I supposed to not worry when we're about to be homeless? He felt like, Mama, what are you doing? She, she, I ain't seen Mama go to work or nothing at all. She putting all this pressure on this little boy. Need money now. No wonder he acting like he. No wonder he acting like this. Calm down. And you got one more test. But after that, you'll be do, and we could break bread together. Bye. Hmm, break bread together. You see that kid over there? That's Tucker Wells. His parents got mad money, but his dad refused to cut us in. Need to send him a message. What do you want me to say? It's not what I want you to say. What I want you to do. You feel me? It's the first time jumping somebody, huh? Never even gotten in a fight before. Uh, this is what I do. All right, just imagine. One thing that makes you more mad than anything else in this world. Something that burns every single time you think about it. It lights up this big... <laughs> Dad really moved on for real. I told y'all, I told y'all. He did. He had a better situation. It builds rage like a monster that grows and grows and grows, waiting to just be unleashed. He fighting demons. That's the rage you use. I'm not my brother! Damn! Damn! Freeze! Get against the car. Oh my god. So he really beat this he really beat this boy head. Never been in a fight. He beat the shit out of him. And then he let homie take off running. Damn! Mr. Jones. This is not a good look at all. I have no reason not to throw you in jail. I understand you almost put a young man in a coma. Mm. What do you have to say for yourself? Perhaps some time in jail might help you think of that. 
I hereby sentence you to five... No, no, Your Honor, please. I know it doesn't look like it, but my son is a good kid. His therapist said that he's dealing with some anger issues because of something private that has happened recently. He's trying to teach him to become more empathetic and to think about the feelings of others. Please, can you give him one more chance? I'm a single mom, and he's helping me out. You got a good mom. Better not take that for granted. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something I haven't done before. Your therapist says you need to be more empathetic. I think that's a great idea. So you're going to start with going to every single person that you hurt, mm. and you're going to make that right. I don't care what it looks like, but you better do this. If not, you will be in jail. Mm. I'm going to see you back in my court in one week. Well, Kent, no jail time. Can you believe it? Damn, boy, really? This, he like, boy, what? What's going on? Oh, so now you're uh, cleaning the building? Got no choice. It was either this or jail. So. Well, to be honest, I'm not sure what you're doing even matters anyway. I'm getting evicted. After my wife died, I, business just started going downhill. Plus all the losses from vandalism and theft. If I don't come up with two thousand dollars, I'm not going to make it past New Year's anyway. I just, I just need my ticket refunded or rescheduled, please. Hello. It's you! You took my stuff! That's my stuff! I should call the- I'm just here to bring these back to you, not cause any trouble. You have no idea what I've been through. I can't afford to live in the States anymore. So I sold everything that I own and was moving to Bali. These suitcases have Damn. my passport, my cash, my clothes. If you didn't bring these back, I would have ended up with nothing. Damn, that's deep. So thank you. That's super deep. Now I just need to figure out a way how to get another ticket since I missed my last flight. He's going to end up getting money from the gang some kind of way. Finesse his way to helping out everybody. Literally, financially. You give me one good reason why I shouldn't call the I'm cops. I'm just here on. to say sorry. Is, is, uh, Tucker around? No, he's been missing. We have been looking for him everywhere. He's been so depressed lately. I'm afraid he might hurt himself, especially after what just happened. I have a reward out for anyone who can find him. Hurt himself? Yes, hurt himself. That's why we need to find him right away. So why ain't y'all looking for your own son? Yep. Now he can be there for somebody else who who is in need, showing some empathy, you know. Tucker. You to finish the job? Great. Makes it easier for me. Nah, man, nah, I'm here to stop you from doing something really, really bad. You don't know my life, man. You don't know what I've been through. Look, man, whatever it is, I'm sure it ain't that bad, okay? Trust me, my life is way worse. Oh, yeah, yeah. So everyone judges you at school every single day because you come from a family with money? Saying that you think you're better than them even though you don't? Well, no. Does your family think that you're just one big failure? 
because your parents are professionals and your older sibling got a full ride to Stanford. Well, you're barely <laughs> passing your class. I don't want to laugh. I don't, don't want to laugh, but like, I mean, I mean, the black kid situation is still way, Kent's situation is still way worse. Like, Just, I'm sorry, Tucker. Like, do you know how it feels to have everyone constantly disappointed in you? With shoes that are way too big for you to ever fill. You know what that feels like? Uh, I can't say I know what it, that feels like either. It sounds tough. You don't know how it feels to be me, man. To be all alone. My dad left my mom and I out of nowhere to be with another woman. I watched my mom cry every day. We're on the verge of losing our apartment and being on the streets. I'm sorry I thought your life was easy. I guess no one's this, but I'm, I'm trying to stop you from making the same mistake that I almost did. You? Yeah. Same spot. I used to come here all the time. After everything happened with my dad. Thinking about all the reasons that I have to die. So. Hey, mental health, hey, it's a real thing. Why didn't you do it? Because. Because, Mom. I thought about all the reasons I have to live. Mom, yep. You know, my uh, my therapist tells me that when people are in pain, some people take it out on others. Some people take it out on themselves. But it doesn't have to be that way. Look, dude, I saw your mom. She was crying. She seemed really worried about you. I think she loves you more than you know. And I think a lot of people do. Please, come on. Apology would be nice, too. Yeah, Can't, I mean, you beat the brakes off the boy. I mean. Come on, please. Give me your hand. Right. There it is. Come on. Thank you, man. Thank you. Tucker. Tucker. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. I promise I will never compare you to anyone ever again or make you feel like you're not enough because you are. Do you hear me? You are. Yeah. I promise. Yeah. Yeah, oh, sentimental. Love, love to see it. Love to see it. Thank you. I ain't gonna lie, Kent hasn't had a fair chance, especially with his dad leaving him. Damn, for the dad to leave the son and the mom, though, is crazy, bro. That's just crazy. I could never do that to somebody. Just up and leave my family like that. You are right? Could never do that. And I don't even have a family. I'm sorry, yet. Kent. I can't believe this is how we're spending Christmas. I failed us. No, 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 you didn't. Hey, you were doing your best. I can only imagine how hard this has been on you dealing with dad the eviction dealing with me we are gonna get through this somehow okay yeah be mom's backbone Promise. for sure hello oh hi everything okay yes everything is great i'm here to see kent and to say thank you for he didn't tell you he saved my son Tucker's life. I, I, I wouldn't go as far as saying I saved his life. I just empathized with him. 
Well, whatever you did or whatever you said worked. So I'd like to give you this. $10,000. Oh my gosh, she gave him. I told bro, her. she gave him a bag. Hold up, 10 bands? And there was a reward Damn. for anyone who found Tucker. Well, he not only found him, but he saved his life. $10,000? You have no idea. We were about to be evicted if we didn't come up with $5,000. I don't know what we're going to do with the extra. <laughs> I do. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Love to see it. Love to see it, man. Oh, he booked her to fly here. Do you know? Okay. 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 He definitely ain't going to jail. Normally, the episodes end off with a little more closure than that. I would have liked to see what the judge said at the end because he did want to see him in a week. But hey, the message of the the video is overall clear. Like the feeling you get from doing good stuff for people, man. Like. And if you just do it genuinely, like, because that's the kind of person you are or from the heart, it makes you feel so much even better, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Original video will always be in the description down below while you guys are down there. If you could please follow me on my TikTok, I will be doing Call of Duty content over there on TikTok videos, uh, shorts, all of that. So please follow me over there on the TikTok, man. Thank you guys for the continued support. And that does it for this one. I will see you guys in the next one. We are out. Peace.